And I think we'll be at the point next year where you can not only use a system to sort of automate some business processes or build these new products and services, but you can really say, I have this hugely important problem in my business. I will throw a ton of compute at it if you can solve it. And the models will be able to go figure out things that teams of people on their own can't do. And the companies that are have gotten experience with these models are well positioned for a world where they can say, okay, you know, AI system, whatever, go, you know, like redo my most critical project and here's a ton of compute, think really hard, just to figure out the answer. People who are ready for that, I think we'll have a, another big step change next year. I would bet next year that in some limited cases, at least in some small ways, we start to see agents that can help us discover new knowledge or can figure out solutions to business problems that are kind of very non-trivial. Um, right now, it's, it's very much in the category of, okay, if you've got some like repetitive cognitive work, we can automate it at a kind of a low level on a short time horizon. And as that expands to longer time horizons and higher and higher levels, you know, at some point you get an AI scientist, uh, an AI agent that can go discover new science. And that will be kind of a significant moment in the world. The, the thing that matters is the rate of progress that we have seen year over year over the last five years should continue for at least the next five, probably well beyond that, but hard to say. And whether you declare the AGI victory in 24 or 26 or 28, um, and whether you declare the super intelligence victory in 28 or 30 or 32, is way less important than this one long, beautiful, shockingly smooth exponential. Um, all of that said, to me, a system that can either autonomously discover new science or be such an incredible tool to people that our rate of scientific discovery in the world like quadruples or something, um, that, would, that would satisfy any test I could imagine for an AGI. And the, the models over the next year or two years are, are gonna be quite breathtaking, um, really, there's a lot of progress ahead of us, a lot of improvement to come. And like we have seen in the previous big jumps, you know, from GPT-3 to GPT-4, businesses can just do things that totally were impossible with the previous generation of models. And, and so what an enterprise will be able to do, we talked about this a little bit, but just like, give it your hardest problem. If you're a chip design company, say, go design me a better chip than I could have possibly had before. Um, if you're a, biotech company trying to cure some disease say just go work on this for me like that's not so far away